All right, guys, they're playing some Riffin top lane. Um, but the plan for today is that we're going to go into the Brawler's Claw build. So, yeah, you know what's going to happen. It's going to be a very snowball-y, you know, 1v9 game. It's going to be fun. We also have the Conquer page, but then we also have Sudden Impact here with Ingenious, so we can spam it more often. And, yeah, of course, we have the damage on the Sudden Impact too. So it's going to do, it's going to be a very good, like, combination together. Also, up against Aatrox, I'm kind of impressed because I thought I was playing as Ilawi, but it turns out it's actually an Ilawi mid. I guess that they got so scared. I don't know. He's not going to hit it. No. I could probably cheese him early if I get my level 2 here. Because I think he might charge his Q on me again. Let's find out. He's got no bone play. Oh, well, wait. Okay, he's dead. Crushed him first. He, uh, uh Aatrox also plays with Ignite, but, um, he missed the first Q. The universe waits for absolution. Hmm. I want to backboard, but if I do backboard right now, then I'm going to have to leave the lane in a bad way. So I'll stay. I'll just use my two potions. Maybe we probably get a Fiego gank right now. Um, it might actually be very good. It depends on what Fiego does. I think I can also get a kill on uh, on Aatrox if he does come back. And if, if he makes like one or two mistakes, I can probably get a kill on him again. But he does have the Ignite Advantage. Okay. I might be able to kill him again. It really depends. Holding my shield, so if he, in case he does Q, then I can just get out. Yeah, right. Almost just shove it in. There you go. Let's get back. All right. So first things first. We are going to go for Lethality. We're not going to go for Warhammer yet. Um, there we go. So, the reason why I'm rushing Brawler's Claw is because into Aatrox, uh, you can engage, you can dodge a Q with the Brawler's Claw. And ultimately, wherever he goes, if he hits W or whatever, you can just Brawler Claw out. Then, at the same time, you also have Lethality, so you can burst Aatrox even harder. He, like, you, you can kill him before he can even get something done. Um, and the build path is really good. Like, we can just max damage. Just buy like a bunch of longswords and get away with it. Like, three things to why it works so well. As you can see, my damage is absolutely insane already, because I've got Lethality. Got stuck in it. Oh, I failed that flash. My bad. Life perfection guide. Could have been it could play better. I could int for it, but I don't think I will. Let's play it more safe. Mm, I wonder to risk it. Wait a moment. If he comes close enough, I'll kill him. Yep. Fell for it. Pretty good. Lethality on Riffin is highly underestimated. Let me just tell you that. Like, not many people see the damage coming from, from it. Most people do not, like, know that Riffin can do this. Because most people that play Riffin, they tend to go for a Warhammer rush. Which certainly isn't bad. Like, you gain a lot of damage from it. But if you go Lethality rush... Um, your damage is going to be twice as high. Um, as especially if people don't have any armor, it's going to be really high. 
Like you can just all lane with your normal combo and just get away with it. No, no ultimate needed. You know, that's the beauty about lethality. People just don't expect it. It's the same thing when you play Zed, for example. Like, Zed rushes Warhammer. Well, but it can also rush the Serrated Dirk. And if they go Serrated Dirk, they can just pop the combo in and just kill you instantly. You know. Let's see. I'll do the same thing. I have my R this time. I think I'm just going to run straight in and just pop it. I don't think he's going to expect it. The light reaches all. He's gonna, that's yes, it's going to go down. He's going to go for it. Yep. You see that damage? Like, I didn't even have to press my R. He was already dead. Like, he just doesn't expect it. Um, whenever a CS goes down, people are very tempted to try and get the CS. Even if they don't get the CS, they will always still walk closer to it. So it's very likely that, um, it's very likely they, they will try and move up just a little bit. Nice. I think I'm going to start maxing W. Oh, they're lane swapping. Mm. I think he saw me. Nice try. I'll try and burst him. Let's get my brother claw. Let's see if I can walk around. Like ultimately against Ilawi, like you just have to dodge the E. And if you do that, like you can then kill him quite easily. His his main damage comes from his E, because that gives him if he ults, it gives him the extra um tentacle. He's respecting me here. No chance for him. Again, took the same tactic. He went for the CES. He tried queuing it. That's like a chance for me to all in. Let's go for play. I don't think he will try, does he? I could try walking around. Uh, I think he knows. Yeah. Could try again. Could kill him without my arc. Okay, sure, he gets it. Good ult, nice ult. I'm backing out. Nice try. Now we just wait up for Ilawi again. I didn't necessarily have to shove that. Well, it's not really needed. I think he has flash. I want to flash on him. I will light 
This playing is like so safe. Come a product law in like 10 seconds. Okay, I got my jungle here. No free kill for him. He's got no R, so he can't win. Not a turret. Alright. Uh, let's go mid and kill Aatrox. Man, I love Rhythm with Brawler's Claw. It's like so unique. The the playstyle just changes like so much, you know. And he could have just taken an auto. But yeah, whatever, it's okay. I could try killing Draven, but I need my ultimate and I need to be at least more HP. I'm not going to take risks if I don't have to. Okay, we got Prowler, we have Ghost Blade. Now, um, next item will be probably Edge of the Night, or we can go for Grudge or Hydra. Chaos does not seek friends. Let's see if I can delete this guy. Yep, got him. Got him too. <laughs> I got way too much damage. I dare, which is way too high. <laughs> no one expects it. Scrap the wave. Nice. And we go back. So, let's go for Hydra, and then we go for um, probably Grudge. Like, as you can notice, we're already we're just playing with a fun build at this point. Like, Brawler is really good. If you snowball, you can just go Ghost Blade. If you're still snowballing super hard, you can just go Hydra. Like, we're not really tanky, as you can see, but who cares, right? <laughs> we have a lot of damage. We don't need tankiness here in this game. Let's go with this camp. So fight on the dragon. Wait a moment. I failed the jump. Tried taking too big of a jump. Okay, whatever. Uh, would you build this in a ranked game in like super high elo? Yeah, I probably would, but probably with a different like second item, third item. Um, 
if I'm like in a in a full challenge game straight away, uh, Brawler's Claw is something that I actually build from time to time because it's really good. Um, Ghost Blade is really something that you only build if you're like going like super 1v9 mode. So. It's like when you're just having like a really good game, um, you can just build these stuff and you can delete them even harder, basically. <laughs> like this is like the type of stuff you can do if you're just going for full damage. So you can probably guess like why you only do it if you're like snowballing 1v9 because you know you're already really far ahead if you build these items while you're going to be even more unkillable. I'll try baiting. Yeah, <laughs> I got I got to play by myself. I tried like I I wanted to double cast Master Yi in the brush here. I tried pretending like I walked this way when he was standing up here. I wanted to double cast him so he wouldn't figure out, but the moment I walked like this, um this person over here also walked down this way. And then Master Yi was way too confident. He walked up and yeah, it was too late for my uh for my tactic. It's okay. Uh, is Brawler's Riffin me uh, meta or just trying it? Well, it's not necessarily meta. Like, it's just a counter tool mostly to Snowball. If you're talking about the meta build for Riffin, that's Fortune Kid to Black Lever and Death Stance. Like, this is more of a build you just run to counter, uh, to counter your opponents. Which can be insanely good, depending on who you play it against. Then, uh... Yep, they got wards. Ah, <laughs> oh, kidding. I actually failed it. I gotta be careful about Master Yi because he can shred me super hard. Shoving everything out. And nothing remains. Huh. 
Got it. My blade, my promise. Oh man, there are so many like objects and warts and and stuff going on down there. <laughs> Got him. 2.9. I need I need a back for it. He's also dead. And ah, my shield was like 0 0.5 seconds. Ah, that's unfortunate. All right, let's go for Grutch, and then the final item um, is probably a chain sword, because I want healing reduction. That's the only thing we're missing right now. I was thinking maybe a death stance, because well, they're full AD, but <laughs> I'm thinking about like building in such a way that I don't have any tankiness. But yeah, but death sense anyway, just to make sure. Uh, quick question. Uh, which domination runes do you suggest with Garen? Uh, not really anything. If you play Garen, I would suggest you, I would suggest you go like resolve. Here we go. Wow, there's so much happening in this team fight and my FPS just dropped below like 60. <laughs> nice. This game is over. Well, that was an awesome game. Alright. Either way, this is Riven Top with the, the Color Club build. Thanks so much for watching today's uh, video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.